I'm Kenneth. I'm the vicar of St Michael's in St Albans. I've also got a smaller church at Chillick Green, half between St Albans and, uh, and Harpenden. Um, I've been here for uh, nine years uh, now. It's a medium-sized parish um, with a, a wide range of people, social mix and age mix. Um, and I really love that. It's one of the things which attracted me to it. Our uh, approach to uh, young people, uh, as it is with um, uh, adults and people in general, is that um, we offer a range of different things, mindful that people's different spiritualities are scratched in different ways. Um, one of the key provisions we make is what we call our, our jelly group, our, uh, which is a, effectively a young person's home group. Um, these have been running since just before I arrived in the parish nine years ago, um, and it's a once a month uh, opportunity meeting in uh, parishioners' homes, um, which is a combination of uh, Bible, prayer, discussion, and a lot of fun uh, as well. Uh, and the makeup of those groups has inevitably changed over the years as the demographics have, have moved and uh, different groups have moved on. Um, <clears throat> we have had um, a couple of groups running in the past and from this September, again, we, we'll have two groups. There'll be an older one, which is kind of gelled, made up of um, teenagers who are coming towards their GCSEs really now, about half a dozen of them, and we're looking to restart another group, so it's a slightly larger group, drawing a few people for, uh, yeah, a little bit beyond the worshipping community as well, who are in years, uh, years seven and eight. Another area for us that's really important is music. Um, <clears throat> under our current director of music, we are not only operating an organ scholarship, but have a number of choral scholarships, a scheme which he set up and has funded through the congregation and a small amount of grant funding. Um, and that's attracted uh, yeah, boys and girls' voices, really from um, middle of secondary school up to the time when they leave for university. That's about their, their musical, but also, uh, of course, about their spiritual development as well. And some of those young people, uh, although they leave and go to university, and they're, they're very keen to come back and reconnect, for example, now over the summer holidays. I'm sure we'll see some of them again when it comes to uh, singing some of the great music at Christmas. My principle about starting anything is that we can only start where we are and with the people that we've got. And my principle about people is that uh, God makes us as we are and that we just need to uh, meet people with uh, honesty, with realism, with humanity, and that if God is using us, uh, he will shine through us and, and make some of those connections. But to find those hooks and connections which will, uh, which will work for them, uh, I mean, sometimes it might be simple, practical things. I mean, for example, yesterday we had a, uh, a social which was predominantly aimed at some of our seniors. Actually, you know, one of our volunteers who was there you know, brought her two teenage daughters along to, to assist with that. And they, they, they did a great job and they, they were fully involved and were you know, not only practically helpful, but it was a, a form of them serving and being involved um, as well. And I guess the other thing which I'd want to say is that I'm always looking for those new ways which might change as people change, which allow us to um, engage with people, including with young people. Um, a lot of opportunities for technology uh, after the pandemic, which we're thinking about. Another area which we've started to explore a little bit is about Duke of Edinburgh. Um, we've had um, uh, teenagers uh, assist with our children's church, our Sunday school for primary age kids. Um, getting one or two teenagers involved who are doing Duke of Edinburgh bronze in particular. Now that hasn't been possible in the last two years, um, but I did have a couple of uh, uh, guys, must have been about 14, approached me um, 15 months ago wanting to uh, assist as part of a Duke of Edinburgh thing. And you know, one thing we got one of them to do was to assist with stewarding. We needed lots of stewarding to get people in and out of church safely in the last 12 months. Uh, and that's really improved his uh, um, you know, working with people uh, meet, you know, and engaging with people where they are and uh, he's grown his confidence. Another one uh, assisting as a sacristan, you know, preparing the altar, uh, which worked well with some of his skills with, with, with detail, attention to detail. So that worked, both worked well for them. We had another girl in the last year who has been supporting a senior parishioner um, as part of her Duke of Edinburgh Gold, uh, you know, visiting once uh, a week uh, and going, going for a walk with him and, and supporting with you know, a few practical things like, like shopping. And uh, it has got me thinking whether as a deanery um, <clears throat> there would be opportunities to put together a package which um, we could offer the secondary schools, the different churches, about, you know, look, if you're looking for things which uh, might engage your, uh, the community aspect of your Duke of Edinburgh, bronze, silver or gold, um, then, then this is what we, we, we could do, not just work with uh, 
uh, work with children, but in practical ways as well, maybe with technology, depending on what the different churches um, have to offer. It wouldn't presume a, a faith background, but it would be a way of engaging people. Uh, and of course, those uh, parishes would have the necessary safeguarding provisions in place as well.